Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Please keep in mind that all comments made by any pristine instructor, including myself, are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice regarding the purchase, sale of securities, options, futures, or any other financial instrument of any kind, including Forex. Here we're looking at six different pairs, U.S. dollar pairs. We have in the upper left, Euro U.S. dollar, center upper chart, Aussie U.S. dollar. To the right of that in the upper corner, New Zealand U.S. dollar. In the lower right corner, U.S. dollar yen. Bottom center chart, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. And in the bottom left, we have the pound U.S. dollar pair. Starting off with Euro US dollar, we can see that it has been downtrending here for quite some time, and really that downtrend continues to be in place. While we did have this brief retracement, which did result in a retest, we have seen price fall through this prior pivot low, indicating continued weakness, and at this point, there is no reason that we should not continue down into the prior pivot low from middle of March. And then it's quite possible that we continue down below that. If we take a look at the weekly chart, the weekly has been in a very steady downtrend with really no indications that it has found a bottom at this point. So the trend remains lower on both the weekly and daily time frames. Therefore, we want to have a more bearish bias overall, unless, of course, some major resistance level is taken out. Moving on over to Aussie US dollar, we can see that it's really just been bleeding its way lower. There's there's no clean downtrend in place here. You can see the moving averages are slicing through not only price but also one another in this sloppy range that exists here. So while there does not appear to be any swing opportunity on this particular pair, you could certainly look to play intraday trends if they are clean and if they have a price void to move in one direction or the other. To the right of that, we're looking at New Zealand dollar, US dollar, and this one has also been in a fairly sloppy overall trend, but it's been slightly more bullish in the sense that it's been making higher lows. Now, recently, over the past week, we've seen the range tightening up. We see that the highs are getting lower, the lows are getting higher. So we may be getting close to an inflection point here where we do get some movement out of this choppiness. In order to really gauge what kind of potential there is, we're going to want to take a look at the weekly chart. And so in doing that, we see that the weekly chart is overall in a downtrend. However, we did have this double bottom pattern, this retest of the prior low, and a pretty strong move up from that level. And at this point in time, we've seen over the last two weeks, price holding in the upper portion of this area. So this is bullish uh, indications there are bullish messages being produced based on this information and so there is the possibility that we can move back up into this prior area that I'm highlighting here to the left we'll see in order for that to happen though we're gonna need to break above this daily range here so keep keep uh, that on your radar as there may be some potential opportunity here in the coming days or weeks so it's worth something it's worth watching moving down to the lower right here we have US dollar yen and this one's been overall bullish as well you can see there was a bit of a deep retracement that took place in the uh, middle to end of March and we're now just stabilizing once again this this too like uh, like we saw on the weekly chart of New Zealand US dollar 
we've got a double bottom here on US dollar yen and it's pushed up above this prior resistance area so it is possible to see US dollar yen pushing up towards this prior high around 121.55 maybe a bit higher than that even in these coming days so we'll look to see what kind of intraday strength may develop to present us with potential opportunities the bottom center chart we're looking at US dollar Canadian dollar and overall this has been sideways for quite some time going on you know two two plus months now and so while there hasn't been any real directional movement up or down there has been some decent opportunity to play the top and the bottom of this range as it has existed now you can see a very easily defined support area down here as well as a resistance area up here right? so you could just simply look to play the top and the bottom of that range looking for intraday strength and weakness as long as there was a void for prices to move in one direction or another so as far as US dollar Canadian dollar is concerned there's really no clear uh, bias from the daily chart in terms of moving up or down right we can see that there was an uptrend prior to this sideways movement so there is a more o overriding bullish bias but again we'll have to see which way we break and not just break but where do we close right if we break the bottom of this support do we close below it that's going to be an important indication, important message to be looking for. If we break to the upside, do we break and close above that area? So we'll have to stay tuned. We'll have to keep continue to watch this and see what develops from this sideways range. But in the meantime, like I said, one could continue to look at playing the, uh, the top and the bottom of this area until things change. Finally, pound U.S. dollar. Again, another another one like Euro US dollar that's been weak overall. This one's actually been a bit weaker as it is below this prior low from from uh, uh, middle of March. We're actually below that prior low now, indicating that price can continue to fall even further. And when you look at this, you you should be realizing that this really is not extended to the downside on the daily chart, nor is it extended to the downside on the weekly chart, which we can take a look at. Here's the weekly chart, and you can see a very steady, clean downtrend here. And so once again, as I said, there's really no indications that this is done moving lower. So weekly is in a downtrend, giving a bearish bias. Daily also in a downtrend, providing a bearish bias. So that's really the overriding bias that we want to maintain until major resistance is taken out, at which point we would need to start shifting our bias to thinking, okay, now price has the potential to retrace higher well of course higher to where and that's what we'll talk about if it happens when it happens in one of our upcoming videos so stay tuned we'll talk soon until then good luck stay patient stay disciplined stay confident